excited. My followers tweeted me and said, you have to get Tessa. And I said, tap, 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 tap. Tessa, come on over! I am Broadway's number one fan, and as Broadway's number two fan, I think that it would be great to do a little collab. Okay, yeah, I don't think that's right. I think that I'm Broadway's number one fan, and you're kind of number two. Challenge accepted. Some days of inspiration, play it, hope you make it something out of nothing. The need to express, to communicate. Hey, I'm just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. dramatic readings of Broadway fan fiction. Uh -huh! So buckle up because it's going to get real dramatic real quick. Are you I'm ready? so excited. This is a ham fanfic called Satisfied. Alexandra always moved like there was no time, but Angelica had managed to convince Thomas Jefferson that women were just mindless playthings to discard. Perhaps we can talk about this list of yours later on after we've both been satisfied. Satisfied? Now who's the one forgetting themselves exactly? Does it truly matter anymore? She said, taking his hand and pointedly ignoring the smirk on his face. I will give you nothing else. <laughs> she refocused her attention on Alex as he placed his hands on her lips. It was her last chance. She, she wasn't, wasn't about to throw away her shot. We are moving on to a wicked fanfic called A Breath Away From Where You Are. A single tear escaped his eyes as he tightened his grip carefully. Don't leave me. I can't lose you. I love you so much. She started singing softly, seeing the sun peeking through the rain clouds. The skies began to clear and I'm at rest. Piero gently stroked her raven hair. A rain will make the flowers. Wait, that's definitely from my yes. face. Yes. <laughs> her, her eyes widened a little before her head dropped to the side. She stopped breathing. This is like... Oh. Actually dead. Hi, this is my vlog now. Thanks, Playboy. Step back! <laughs> this rent fanfic is called I Know You Would Still Love Me the Same. Mimi, come here. I walked around the table towards Roger. He got up and stood over me. I love you because of your beautiful smile. He placed a chapped kiss on my lips. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> would you stood up me if I talked like this? Mimi started talking with a bad accent, making Roger laugh, and Mark looked at her funny. Wine. His laughter died down and he wiped his eyes. I don't know, Mimi. That was a pretty bad accent. <laughs> this is so good. He ignored her statement and found her lying on her stomach on the bed. He moved on top of her, <laughs> hovering slightly <laughs> and nuzzling her neck. Oh, come on, Memes. It was just a joke. Silence. <laughs> I would love you no matter what you talk like. More silence. <laughs> I didn't want it to come to this, but if that's the way it has to be. A voice stopped him. Okay. 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 That was beautiful. That was great. Woo! <gasps> Jesus, I didn't know that was a thing, but now it, we do. It's a thing. It's a big thing. Um, so everyone take a brief moment, comment below with your favorite Tessa and Tyler fan fiction creation. And maybe you'll be on a future episode. I think so. Well, if you want more Tessa Netting, because I don't know who wouldn't, you can follow her on Instagram and Twitter at Tessa Netting. And you can follow my Broadway journey all year long on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter at Tyler G. Mouth. Until next time, I'm Tyler. I'm Tessa. Reminding you to, to give, give love. love. Wow!